All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring in this truth and sincerity worldwide, trying to wake up the elect of the children of Israel. It's Brother Dawadai coming to you with another lesson. Lord willing, it's edifying. Uh, the name of this lesson is going to be Fear Not Thou Worm Jacob. And it's an excerpt from uh, the scripture that you see on the screen, Isaiah 41 and 14. Uh, this lesson was inspired by Elder Apostle Ramla through the Spirit. You know, he was going into how the perilous times were coming into, how we're going to need to trust in Yahweh by Shah So, uh, once again, Lord willing, this is uh, edifying and comforting. All right. So, this is Isaiah 41 and 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, say of the Most High, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right? So we have to trust and believe in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that they're going to deliver us out of all evil. All right? Matter of fact, let's get this. Let's trust and faith. You know, matter of fact, let me get this before I get that. All right, <clears throat> this is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh is his treasure. All right, and that's who we got to trust in. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank, period, man. He's going to be able to save us out of, out of all destruction and trouble that we're going to be heading into. All right. Let's go to this precept, Proverbs 3 and 5. It says, Trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashiach, with all thine heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right? In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Most High, Yahweh Bashiach, and depart from evil. All right? And trust, man, you have to have faith. You have to have faith that Yahweh Bashar Shah is going to save you out of all trouble. All right? Faith is, is very important in this walk. All right? Now, this is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is. And that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him, right? So you diligently seeking your how by shower shot in your walk every day. Whether you making videos, whether you listen to the videos as a believer, all right? These are the things that's required of you, all right? See, things that was written aforetime were written for our knowledge. That what? Let's get it. Because we what? We prisoners of hope, right? says for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope all right and just like elder apostle aramla had went into the day in ecclesiastes chapter two it's a powerful powerful chapter man says that anybody ever trust in your how about was confounded no so whatever these things that were written aforetime were written for our learning that we might, so like it was written for our learning, yeah, it comes. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right? Because we prisoners of hope, man. We got to have faith and trust in Yahweh Shai Shai that he's going to save us out of all trouble. All right? Well, this is the book of Zechariah, chapter 9 and verse 12. Turn you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render thee, shall like I will render double unto thee. All right, so we got to turn to the stronghold. What is the stronghold? Let's get that. Uh, okay, water. Uh, this is Proverbs 
chapter 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashevah is a strong tower, and the righteous runneth into it, and is safe. All right? And that's part of what? Trusting in the Lord, Yahweh Bashevah by trusting in these names through faith. All right? And that's what's going to be what? Our, our, our salvation in the time of trouble. All right? Let's go to let's go to a uh, let's go to what uh, King David said. All right, uh, we supposed to be walking in the example of Yahweh Shai, and he has set up David. All right, to be king over Israel. So like, yeah. this is the book of Second Samuel, chapter twenty-two. Starting at the top. And David spake unto the Most High the words of this song in the day that the Most High had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Most High is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. All right. The power of my rock in him will I trust. He is my shield. And the horn of my salvation. My high tower. Hey, that's that tower, man. All right. And my refuge. My savior. Thou savest me from violence. I will call on the most high. Who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. All right. And that's what we got to do, man. In that time of trouble, who we got to call upon? We got to call upon Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and have faith and trust that he's going to deliver us out of that situation. All right? Verse 5. When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. Right? And just like Elder Apostle Ramla brought out, the enemy is going to come in like a flood. But Yahweh by Yahweh Shai is going to lift up a standard against them. All right? Let's read this again. When the waves of death come past me, the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. All right? And you're going to be afraid in that day. We're all going to be afraid in that day. But that's when we got to really hunker down and put our trust in our Savior, man. Yahweh Bashar All right? Verse 6. The sorrows of hell come past me about, and the snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon the Most High and cried to my power. And he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. All right? Then the earth stood and trembled, and the foundations of heaven moved and shook because he was wroth. Right? We got to trust in you, by Shavashah, to bring us out of those troubles, man. It's all about trust, all right? Let's go to the book of Psalms. Trust and faith, man. That's what's going to be able to, what wisdom, knowledge, and understanding sustain us in these times of trouble, all right? Psalms chapter 2 and verse 12. So lucky. is that what I want? Okay. Serve, Slacky. So Kiss the sun, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way. What's kiss the sun? Give him reverence, man. Acknowledge him. All right. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Put their trust in you. Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shah. All right. You're going to be blessed, man. All right. Let's go to Psalms chapter 20 and verse 7. All right. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. That's who we're going to put our trust in. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And it's, it's, it's going to be according to your faith, too, man. So if you lacking in faith, man, pray for more faith. All right. Damn, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 40, and verse 4. 
Blessed is that man that make of the most high his trust and respect of not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies, right? So you out down the highways and byways, man, you're not going to be respecter of the pride. The, the pride for of our people and the most pride, the wicked, Esau. But you're going to have trust in your by shout shot that he's going to protect you, all right? Deliver you out of all trouble. Trust and faith, man, all right? So fear not, O Jacob. Matter of fact, let's read that scripture again. Isaiah chapter 41 and verse 14. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Most High, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. All right? Point blank period, man. Let's go to the book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 7. It says, the most high is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he know of them that trust in him. All right. So you out here play patting and you're, you're, you don't have your faith built up. And in that day of trouble, you're not going to be protected. All right. You're not going to be saved. Why? Because he know those who trust in him. All right. It's, it's, it's play. And, and we, we, we got to trust in you. How about Shara Shah to save us out of our trouble, man? All right? This is Wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 3 and verse 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. And that's why you have this wisdom, knowledge, understanding. At first, you was preordained to understand this. But, you're, but you were also preordained to trust in Yahweh by Shabbat Shabbat also. All right? This is Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. But such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints. And he hath care for his elect, all right? And it's plain. He's going to care for his elect, all right? That's going to be it for the lesson. Lord willing, it's been edifying and comforting. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring in this truth worldwide to wake up the elect of the children of Israel. Trust in your heart by Shabbat Shai, man. And if you lack faith, pray for more faith. All right? Till the next time I say Shalom.